All right, guys, Godspeed coming at you. Uh, I'm going to do a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. I, I have not seen one of these on YouTube for these two cases back-to-back. -back. I want to do that. Hopefully, I can help some people out who are maybe looking at some cheaper case options than a Pelican. Um, I just finished my budget M4, uh, and I spent most of the money on the gun. And um, I just wanted to maybe try to find a little cheaper case, but there was nothing on YouTube directly comparing the two. Um, this is a 42 inch gun guard by Plano. Um, it's their all weather. And what we're gonna be comparing it to is a Pelican 1750, it's the gold standard. All right, we're gonna jump in. Um, let me just say they're both perfectly adequate. I mean, if you, if you buy them, I mean, it's, it's going to be fine. Uh, both one of them will do the job. If you're tuning in because you want to know which one is better, buy the Pelican, turn the video off, you're done. The Pelican is better in about 95% of every scenario. But this is adequate. And more importantly, we're going to find out why and what you're going to give up by saving a little money with the gun guard. All right, uh, we're gonna jump into the gun guard first because it's the competitor. A lot of people have Pelicans. Not as many people probably have this gun guard. This is a 42 inch. Um, I just got it. And like I said, when I was shopping for it, there was nothing like no comparisons on YouTube or anything that I could find on this particular model. Uh, this is the longer one, it's a 42 inch. Um, and I wanted the 42 as opposed to the 64 for the little bit of extra room that you get in case I uh, ever change the barrel uh, inside I got a this is an m4 it's a basic m4 I'm not gonna really talk about the weapon but it's 16 inch but you can see I have um, a good bit of room left so if I ever that barrel ever grows or I want to change something up I got room to do it um, so let's go into the pros about this particular case um, first and foremost is the cost this is on Amazon right now. This is the 42 inch for, I think it's $116, okay? So that is cheaper than a Pelican. The 1750, depending on what color, you can get that on Amazon right now. I think it's 185, maybe it's 200. I'm not exactly sure. I bought that a long time ago, but, uh, so there's a cost savings with this particular model. Um, I don't know how many of you, another pro for this gun guard is it has two front integrated locks. Um, they work pretty well. They're not gonna keep the, anybody out that wants in it, but if you need to lock it for some sort of purpose in California, I'm transporting that big black scary rifle, um, you're required to lock it. So it's a convenient thing for me to have, not to have to carry an additional lock or anything like I do with a Pelican. <clears throat> so it does have two front integrated locks they're not very good um, also this is a lighter case it just doesn't weigh as much um, that might might be something you care about I don't um, all right so the cons with this um, we should probably compare the foam this is pick and pluck foam on a 40 in my opinion and this is just my opinion I'm not an expert but in a 42 inch rifle case you should not have pick and pluck foam this is a pelican handgun case that has pick and pluck foam okay the foam in this is much denser than the foam in the plano rifle case so keep that in mind i would imagine this pelican foam right here is gonna last longer than the plano pick and plug foam um, it just feels much more dense. Also, I noticed that it seems like the Plano around the little cubes is cut out significantly more. Like it's harder to pull these um, pick and pluck foam, these little cubes out compared to the Plano. Um, they'll come out real easy. So from a long-term durability standpoint, I would rather have the Pelican I understand why Pelican does this, uh, puts it in the, the smaller cases for cameras and such. But in a long case, in my opinion, you're going to want the solid foam. 
Not only that, it looks better and you can get it closer to the rifle. Like this isn't gonna move around, but in my opinion, it still looks better to um, get an electric carving knife and cut it out and have in each individual piece um, specific. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the foam on the Pelican. I mean, a lot of y'all know what this is, but I mean, this is solid, dense foam, okay? Another thing you want to keep in mind with this, the gun guard, is the foam that lines the top is, I don't know if it's hot glued or if it's, I don't know what's sticking it, but it's not removable. On the Pelican, I'll take my targets and I'll take a cleaning rod and I'll stick them in here uh, behind the top foam, just kind of convenient uh, or whatever else I need to carry with me. Uh, you cannot do that with a gun guard. And that is annoying. Um, obviously on the Pelican, the top foam is solid. This is some sort of egg crate type. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's adequate um, thickness. It's not as thick as the Pelican. Also, another thing that I, I would have liked to have known about is the actual bottom um, underneath the M4. That is actually egg crate, but I flipped it over. Um, I like to spray foam adhesive on um, the bottom between the second between the bottom and the second piece of foam. You can get this at pretty much any auto parts store. Um, and basically, what that does is it just gives the foam a little bit more density. Um, it gives it a little bit more rigidity inside the case. So the bottom of this will be egg crate foam. You can flip it over, but I didn't like that. Um, if you left the egg crate, you wouldn't have a lot to spray that adhesion or that adhesive and press it in. It just wouldn't be as, as secure. Like I said, adequate, but it's something to keep in mind. Uh, watertight weather. They call this the all weather, 42 inch all weather. I certainly would not want to dunk it in water. Um, you can drop the top, line it up, latch it, and push with any amount of force, and you can hear the air sucking in and out of it. So I think all weather is a little deceiving. Um, they're not claiming it's watertight, but it's not even close. But again, I mean, if you're going to be carrying it through uh, a hurricane, or you're going to be swimming with it, I don't know why you'd be swimming with it anyway. Not that that necessarily matters, but it's something to consider. So uh, that's that's pretty much this particular case um, compared to we're going to go in and we're going to talk about the Pelican a little bit. <clears throat> this is an FNSPR, 24 inch fluted barrel. Um, just to kind of give you an idea on the size, uh, that's a 1750. Um, this particular case is constructed. The actual density of the, I think this is injection molded, but it's much thicker. Um, feels much more solid. I'm going to try to get a good kind of a wavy shot here. If you hate this wobble, you're not going to like this case because it wobbles. Again, adequate, but... <clears throat> so, the construction on the Pelican is obviously much better. Um, it's watertight. I believe it to be watertight. Both have an O-ring. This is a Pelican O-ring. There's a little O-ring. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in there. Which is better. I mean, it, there's really no comparison as far as um, it being weather tight, water tight. Um, this is solid foam. It is much more dense. This is what should be in a long rifle case, in my opinion. Pick and pluck foam, although it'll work. I don't know how that's going to stand the test of time. Um, it is very easy to pull those little cues out. Too easy in my opinion. Something else I want to talk about too is um, with Pelican, I've already replaced this foam twice. I've had this case for a while and I've replaced the foam twice. I know exactly where to get the foam. I know Pelican's going to be in business. I know where to get it, how to get it, and what model to get it for. Plano, I, I know the company's been around forever. 
but I don't know if they're going to keep this particular model forever. Am I going to be able to replace that foam in 10 years? I hope so, but I don't know for sure. I know with this that I'm going to be able to replace that foam. And if you're like me, stuff changes on my weapons, uh, and I want the ability to know that long term, if I need something, uh, that kind of brings me into warranty, I guess. Uh, Pelican obviously has an outstanding warranty. To whereas with the gun guard, I don't know. I haven't used it. I hope I don't have to. But if I was a betting man, I would bet I'd need the warranty on the Polino well before I need it on the Pelican. Um, foam solid, watertight. The cons for the Pelican, I mean, it's really just a matter of weight. I mean, it does weigh more, but I think it's good weight. I don't think it's wasted weight. Everything is extremely beefy. Um, this particular model, the 1750, has wheels on it. So if you're carrying it or rolling it through an airport, you can just pull it that way. With, uh, with this particular rifle, this is a heavy rifle. Um, it's a very heavy case. The uh, 42 inch Plano does not have any wheels. Um, also, the cost. I mean, like I said, I think this is somewhere between $185 and $200, give or take. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, I think you're getting your money's worth. Like I said, both of these are adequate, um, they will both work for you. But I feel like after looking at this, I should have just spent the money on a Pelican. Uh, again, just my opinion. This is an adequate case. I mean, it will work. But you're giving up a little bit of functionality. And long term, I feel like, you know, in a um, end of world scenario or something like that, I would want something that I could potentially have to, or something that I need to save my life. I would want it in a Pelican. I wouldn't want it in this as much i mean it's better than nothing and it is sufficient but this is some stuff to keep in mind so anyway i hope that helps you out i hope it makes your decision a little bit easier mine wasn't but um all in all they'll both work like i said so anyway have a good evening